Hello and welcome to today's video by OKM3D. My name is Sven, and today I want to show you how to get the Hyperspeed Upgrade Kit into this Pro 3 Plus printer here next to me. Uh, I'll show you a step-by-step -step guide on everything you need to do to then print with massively improved speeds. You can go anywhere from the old 50 to 80 millimeters per second to around 200 to, 200 to 350 millimeters per second. So without further ado, let's get started and get this in there. After receiving your upgrade kit, you want to unpack it and its components. First, there's a letter, and I'll get to this one in a moment. Also, there are five cardboard boxes. The three small ones contain the new hot ends and the calibration component. The two big boxes contain spools of hyperspeed filament. A quick note before we begin. Of course, it is still possible to print with your Pro 3 at normal speeds and with all the filaments you're used to, even after installing the Hyperspeed Upgrade Kit. There's no downgrade needed, just different slicing settings. We'll get to that at the end. There are four things to do before we can start printing with the Hyperspeed Kit. We need to update the printer firmware, run a vibration calibration using the included calibration component, install the new hot ends and calibrate these. And then, of course, we need a sliced file. We will go through each of these steps now. First, the firmware. This is where that letter comes into play. Open it up and follow the link that is written on it. This will bring you to a web page where you need to enter a code. And you can find this code after scratching the silver surface on that letter free with a coin or something similar. Enter the code on the website to get access to a firmware download file. Copy this file to a USB stick and go to your printer. Plug the USB stick into your printer and then use the power switch on the back to force a restart. The printer will automatically ask you whether you want to update its firmware. Click the install button and confirm the pop-up dialog. Accept the license agreement and the update will start. The printer will update both its motion controller board and its touchscreen firmware. After it has finished, remove the USB stick and force another restart using the power switch. The printer will now ask you to unload any filament that may still be loaded before beginning the calibration procedure. The screen will tell you everything you have to do. Remove the left hot end and replace it with a calibration component. If you are using a Pro 3 Plus, please make sure that the wheels are locked. You may also consider removing the wheels altogether to reduce the amount of movement of the printer during high-speed printing. Please note that during the frequency calibration, you should not touch the printer. It is normal that the printer vibrates and shakes and makes some unusual noises. Do not worry about this. Just wait until the screen says that the calibration was successful. Next, Replace the calibration component with a hyperspeed hot end and also replace the right old hot end as well. Now it is time to calibrate the nozzle offsets in a way that is very similar to what you may already be used to from your Pro 3. To do that, load the hyperspeed filaments that were included in the upgrade kit. The screen will guide you through the calibration procedure. The only step that differs from the old procedure is the Z offset calibration, which now uses a printed pattern where you have to look at gaps in this pattern rather than the twisted lines that we had before. Once the nozzle offsets have been calibrated, the printer will ask to print a test part. If you want, you can skip this. It would take about 30 minutes to print. You have now finished installing the Hyperspeed Upgrade Kit and are ready to print faster than ever. The only thing missing now is a sliced file. So let's get on that. You need at least IdeaMaker version 4.4. If your software is older than that, go to ideamaker.io and download a more recent version. In the slicing software, you can now find a toggle button in the slicing panel to enable or disable the Hyperspeed mode. While enabled, your printer selection will be limited to the Pro 3 and the profiles will be different. While disabled, you can slice for any printer and any material as you are used to from before upgrading. Now, simply slice your part using the provided profile or create your own and start printing. 
We got the kit installed on the printer. We're able to print at hyper speed. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If there are any more questions or comments, please leave them below the video. And other than that, I hope you liked it and you have a wonderful day. See you again next time. Bye-bye.